In the Heart of the Sea is a film directed by Ryan Howard and it stars Chris Hemsworth, Tom Holland, and Brandon Gleason. And this film is based on an event that happened in 1820, which inspired the book Moby Dick about a crew who was being stalked by a huge sperm whale. And in this event, they are left stranded for 90 days. Now going into this, I wasn't too familiar with the story. I mean, I knew what everyone else knew, but I do like Chris Hemsworth's portrayal of Owen Chase, who is the main character of the story. And just how he's portrayed on screen that he's, he's hard and he's stern and he knows exactly what he's doing you can tell that he is experienced and he is a veteran when it comes to hunting whales and he does the role incredible and i just like seeing him on screen and i like the realistic look of the first storm that they encounter on their voyage of hunting whales and i really love the visual effects that they had in this film it really mixes with the rest of the film well and seeing when they show their first whale catch it had like different emotions mixed with it and the music that accompanied it it basically sold that scene it's like the music is like adventurous and it gets you all up in the moment but then once you actually see what is being done to this whale the music go from that to being kind of like a mixture in between happy and sad but you understand that they do what they need to do so that they can feed their families but at the same time it's costing this precious life and it just kind of like mixed together within that scene and it made that scene just a little bit more powerful and then just after they get on this island and they hear the stories about this place where there's a lot of whales as well as this big giant whale and then at last when it gets to that scene where it finally shows Moby Dick it's like it's epic and just the struggle between the whale and them and with the encounter of just this huge whale it's basically like you get caught in that moment you you feel what they're feeling and every scene where it had that happen was just great scene but i enjoy the journey of these characters and their ups and downs and complete loss and everything that just happened to them because they were just basically trying to do their job and they were thrown into a situation to where it was out of their control and they tried to handle it the best way that they can and they had to do certain things that maybe they didn't want to do but they had to do and seeing those on screen just made those scenes a little bit more powerful and the cinematography looked good as well as the cg looked great and the acting was good like i enjoyed the acting i mean uh there was no slacking at all it seemed like they were trying to go for something really good here and they did but i could say the only dislike that i had about the movie it wasn't really nothing too big but it kind of put me in a mind frame of titanic if you guys see the movie you will know exactly what i'm talking about it, it, it just certain parts just put you in the mind frame of titanic just little small parts and that is basically what i kind of it really didn't sit right with me it, it wasn't nothing major but it just kind of threw me off a little bit but overall this movie I liked it like I, I recommend it you know you guys go see this film because I enjoyed it and I'm sure that you'll enjoy it was it like a perfect film no it wasn't it wasn't really all of what I expected but it was close to what I expected if that makes any sense like I said like man go check out the film you're gonna enjoy it and um, with that said this concludes my take one review of in the heart of the sea I hope you guys like this video and if you did hit like subscribe comment and share and there will be more videos to come as well as check out my other videos and I hope you guys check it out because I know you'll like it so I'll catch you later until next time.